Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be learning increment and decrement instruction in 8051. So before going into details of those instructions, uh, if you have to access my uh, playlist on uh, 8051 architecture, just go through it. You can save the bookmark from here and uh, you can save the playlist so you can access it anytime. So coming back to the topic. So increment and decrement instructions in H of one are used to increment or decrement the content of any register address or the indirect address. So first we will start with the increment instruction. It is used to increment the data in 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 the operand by one by one value. So that operand could be register RAM direct address or register pointer or indirect address. So these are the mnemonics, these are the variations in the increment instructions, increment A, increment, basically uh, in increment it adds 1 to the content of register A, increment register, it adds 1 to the content of specified register, increment address, which is the direct address, which is given in the instruction, it adds 1 to the data which is stored at that direct address increment at the rate register pointer it add point to the data of the address given by the pointer register increment dptr so it add one to the 16 bit dptr register so let's have a look at the examples of each and every instruction so increment a it add one to the content of the array. Basically, it is incrementing the content of accumulator by one. So initially, it's a is having zero five for execution, and after execution, after adding one, it becomes six. Next instruction is increment R seven. R seven is the register. There could be any register from a register band between R zero to R seven. Any register could be specified over there, and um, this instruction is adding 1 to the content of register R7. Let's have a values over here. R7 is having 09 before execution. And after execution, it after incrementing by 1, it will be holding 0A. Next is INC 70H. 70H is the address, a direct address. Basically, it is adding 1 to the content of memory location 70H. So, before execution, that memory location is having 43 as a data, 8 bit data, and after execution, it becomes 44 by adding 1. Next example here is INC at the rate R0. R0 is a pointer register. So, this instruction will add 1 to the data of the address given by R0. So R0 is having 45. So at 45 memory location 06 is stored. This is the situation before the execution. But after once you execute this instruction, the content of that memory location which is pointed by R0 will be incremented by 1. So it becomes a 07. Now INC DPTR. So it is adding 1 to a content of 16 bit DPTR register. We know DPTR is the 16 bit register, like a program counter piece. And we also know that the DPTR can be separately accessed as an 8 bit register used via name DPH and DPL. So before execution, DPTR is having 0, 05 and 43 in DPH and DPL respectively. So the content of DPTR is 0543. So when you execute this instruction, the content will become 0544. Let's take another example. Before execution, if a DPTR is having 05FF, then after execution of INC DPTR, the content would be 0600. So one would be added here. So that's why the carry would be created in higher byte. 
so it is 0 5 becomes 0 6 over here next instruction is the decrement instruction it is used to decrement the data in in the operand by one so basically it is performing subtraction operation it is subtracting one from the operand so operand could be same it could be a register a ram direct address a register pointer or a ram indirect address so these are the variations of a decrement instruction so dcra it subtract one from the content of accumulator decrement dcrr it sub it subtract one from the content of specified register r which could be in between r0 to r7 dcr address it subtract one from the data which is given by the direct address dcr address rp it subtract one from the data of the address given by pointer register so let's uh, have a look on the examples decrement a it, uh, it is subtracting one from the content of accumulator and the result will be stored in accumulator itself in the same operand the result is stored so initially a is having 0 9 after a after the after the execution of this instruction a would be 0 8 next instruction is a dcr r5 r5 is the specified register this register name this register could be any register so it is basically it is subtracting one from the content of register r5 and the result is stored in the same register so initially r5 is having 0e after execution it becomes a 0t after subtracting one from 0e it becomes 0t next instruction is a dcr 60h so 60h is the direct memory location of the internal ram so basically this instruction is subtracting one from the content of that memory location at 60h so this memory location 87 is stored after execution the content of the content of same memory location becomes 86 next instruction is a dcr at direct r0 r0 is the pointer register there so it will subtract one from the data which is given by the address okay it will subtract one from the data of the address given by this r0 register so r0 is a r0 is holding 56 which is the indirect address so R0 is pointing to 56. So at 56, 45 stored. After execution, the content of the address which is given by R0 will be decremented by 1. So this 45 becomes 44 and it is stored in the same memory location. One important point we have to keep in mind that there is no decrement TPTR instruction there is an increment dptr instruction but there is no decrement dptr instruction so that's all for today this is all about increment and decrement instruction if you really like the video uh, don't hesitate to hit the bell button subscribe